Interestingly, Benjamin Rush's role in the battlefield began before he worked for the military. He was actually a congressman. He left Congress and his pregnant wife to go volunteer and treat soldiers. He showed up right before the crossing of the Delaware. And he actually documented this so we know exactly what happened. He joined the Pennsylvania militia. He then went to visit Washington the night before the crossing of the Delaware. He talked to Washington for an hour and wrote about that. He saw Washington writing out the pages that, that say victory or death, which at the time he didn't realize was the watchword for the attack. He treated the patients at the Battle of Trenton, and then he moved on to treat patients on the battlefield at the Battle of Princeton. This was particularly devastating for him because Rush had gone to Princeton. There's a famous portrait that hangs in the library at Princeton of George Washington that has three figures on the side of it. One of them is a generic soldier. One of them is General Mercer, whose death was one of the most horrible deaths of the Battle of Princeton. And then one in the middle is Benjamin Rush, who tried to treat him, thought he had saved him, knew him, and then later heard that he died. But keep in mind, this was a congressman acting as a doctor. He later uh, left Congress and was a Surgeon General for the area where most of the fighting was going on. And he was at the Battle of Brandywine, which is one of the most brutal battles of the Revolutionary War. Rush's hospital gets caught in the middle of the battle. He is briefly captured and, and escapes. But he went through, in a very short period of time, uh, terrible ordeals on the battlefield. And interestingly, at the same time, his father-in-law, Richard Stockton, who was also a signer, was captured by the British during this time, tortured and released a shell of himself. In a very short period of time, Rush and his family went through an incredible experience of the Revolutionary War, uh, which in many ways I'm not sure he ever got over. He wrote later in his life about how he was still haunted by what he saw there, and it's part of the reason why he wrote a very famous essay explaining how to improve the medical care for soldiers, which ran in the newspaper and the military thought it was so important they printed it up as pamphlets and Washington had it distributed to every soldier. The book is Rush, Revolution, Madness, and the Visionary Doctor Who Became a Founding Father. I'm Stephen Freed. Thanks for watching.